When debugging in VS Code, you can shift click on a breakpoint to quickly disable it. This will keep the breakpoint around in the editor, but means it won't be hit when the program continues execution. Here, for example, I'm debugging a simple JavaScript program. You can see I'm currently on the first line. Let's continue on a few times. So I'll hit continue, end up inside the body of the for loop here. And if I hit continue a few times here, notice how I'm continuing to hit the body of the for loop. So for every iteration, it's going to hit that breakpoint. Now, let's say that we instead wanted to continue on to the last line of the program here. One way to accomplish that is to actually disable the breakpoint inside of the body of the for loop. So to make this a little bit more obvious, I'm going to step ahead. And then I'm going to go and shift click on the red breakpoint circle here on line four. So the one that we want to disable. So I'm going to hold down shift and click on it. It goes to a gray circle, which is indicating that the breakpoint is now disabled. Now, when I hit continue, instead of hitting that breakpoint, we're just going to skip right past it and go to the last line of the program here, which had the breakpoint on line seven. Now, the effect here was much the same as removing the breakpoint. But the nice thing about disabling breakpoints is that they're kept around inside the editor. So if we look over here, we can see where we actually disabled the breakpoint on line four. We could go and quickly click on it again to restore it. Or if I could actually go and shift click to disable it again, we could always go over to the debug view. So go to the debug view, scroll down to the breakpoints section, and then see a list of all breakpoints. Our disabled breakpoint, which is on line four down here, is going to be grayed out. And if I want to re-enable it, I can just hit that check mark, and now our breakpoint has been enabled again. So that's how you can quickly disable breakpoints by shift clicking on them in VS Code.